Hey everyone, Patrick CK here with a follow-up to episode 4 of 3D printing with the Mono Price Maker Select V2. I guess we can technically call this one episode 4.5. Ever since I got this printer, I've been trying to find the best way to record the printing process. Because I personally think it's an amazing thing to see something literally grow from nothing in a couple hours. I've been frustrated by the fact that both parts of the printer actually move constantly. Something I knew I would have to tackle going into it. Due to the motion of both axes, the footage of the printing process looks pretty awful. And I'll be the first to admit it. It's pretty obvious that the camera has to be mounted in such a way that it and the print can move together. Of course, this is easier said than done. You could just stick a mount directly to the surface of the print bed, but this takes up valuable printing space and you will also have to remove it completely every time you have to calibrate the extruder height. Not to mention with the bed getting up to 60 degrees C or 140 degrees F, any adhesive will probably create a mess of the printing surface. Not an ideal situation. So the next logical position is on an arm attached to the bed. Again, easier said than done. My first idea was to attach a metal bracket to the set screws on one of the corners, but the first and second iteration of this resulted in really wobbly footage. It was also a pain to take on and off, and lastly it had the unattended effect of loosening the set screws during printing. Something kind of obvious now. Then I realized, I have a 3D printer, there must be something I could print that would attach to the bed and provide a solid platform for my old GoPro camera. I searched online for examples, and to my surprise, there simply wasn't much out there. But then I stumbled on Perkaverinti's channel. He has a video where he shows a simple design for a camera arm and mount that slides onto the print bed and is basically held in place by friction. Although, in a reply to a comment I made, he did have to correct the fact that some kind of adhesive would be necessary. Nevertheless, I borrowed on his design concept, which was made for another printer, and modified it to work with the special characteristic of the V2 design. Most may not have noticed this, I didn't until I started looking, but the bottom plate of the print bed has a smooth round channel about 1.5 centimeters or 0.6 inches from the edge that goes around the whole plate. I assume for added strength and rigidity. You can see it clearly from underneath or if you look between the two plates here. I thought I could use this channel as a kind of positioning anchor for the arm to keep it from moving back and forth while printing. This inspired the prototype for what I'm calling the Monoprice Maker Select V2 Camera Mount System or MMS V2 CMS for short. This design, like the original, is made to simply slide onto the printer bed, but unlike the original, it will snap into place using these grooves. As I designed the arm, I did have to go through a couple iterations to fine tune the fitment. After the first round, I didn't realize the arm would have to clear this tiny gap between the bottom of the bed and the base support. Another adjustment I made was to make it wider for extra stability and to accommodate more of the GoPro mount. The last thing that I added, which is actually critical to the whole thing, was this arm that will squeeze between the two plates and hold the whole mount in place. The final design measures in at 80.7 millimeters or 3.2 inches long by 16.7 millimeters or 0.6 inches tall by 31 millimeters or 1.2 inches wide. The easiest way to print it is on its side, which took about two hours on normal quality. When it was done, I stuck the GoPro mount with the original 3M double-sided tape at a very slight angle toward the center of the bed. Then I slid the whole thing on in place and done. I must say there is nothing more satisfying than hearing that snap when the arm locks in place. One of the added benefits is you can take the arm off and on without having to undo anything. Seeing it in action, I think it works great. It feels pretty solid and resists most horizontal movement. There are still some small vibrations when watching the playback at normal speed, but at high speed you don't notice it. And since no one's going to watch a 3 hour print at normal speed on YouTube, I think we're good. Of course, nothing's perfect. The top of the arm started to warp downwards from the heat of the bed it was pushing against, 
but I didn't see a noticeable impact. I'll be fine tuning this thing some more for a while. I uploaded the design to both the Trimble 3D Warehouse for my SketchUp users and to Thingiverse if you want to print it as is. Links to both in the description. The nice thing is you can modify it to suit your needs. You can make it taller or narrower or even print a mounting bracket directly to it. Pretty much anything as long as you remember the clearance issue on the bottom. If any of you peeps have ideas for improvements or a completely different idea for a mount, don't hesitate to share. Well, this has been Patrick CK. Like and share if you enjoyed this content. Subscribe to get more videos when they come out and hope to see you all next time. Thanks everyone.